Hey, what's up, Major League Baseball fans? This is Felix from NYNews.com. Hola, como estas? Let's talk about the NBA. Let's talk about Major League Baseball. Let's talk about how a whole bunch of people are worrying about the NBA surpassing Major League Baseball. In my opinion, it's never going to happen. You already saw the golden age of the NBA with Michael Jordan. All those great players. Sure, you're seeing LeBron James. Sure, you had Kobe Bryant. But really, there's not another player that's next up that's going to replace LeBron James talent-wise. So I've always seen like big Major League Baseball YouTube channels, these content creators always whining and complaining about, oh, the NBA is so popular amongst uh, teenagers or whatever. <laughs> yeah, sure. I'm pretty sure those teenagers are buying merchandise right no they're playing video games so the MOB has nothing to worry about they're always concerned about let's reach a younger demographic the NBA is just exploding everywhere the NBA is going to take over no they're not going to take over period this is the fourth year that the Warriors and the Cavaliers have faced each other in the finals the fourth straight year the fourth straight year, and we have to sit back and listen to all these radio personalities, all these TV personalities talk about the Warriors and the Cavaliers. Again, again, the same broken record. And you're going to tell me the NBA is growing off of that? <laughs> they just did Major League Baseball a favor from, let's say, continuously stacking teams and having the same teams reach the playoffs every single year and ignoring their big markets like New York and maybe Los Angeles as well. The NBA is dumb like that. The NBA rather put or vouch for a superstar, for an example, like Carmelo Anthony, who left New York for Oklahoma. <laughs> you see how that sounds? That's ridiculous. That's not a recipe to have your league grow. Major League Baseball has the perfect recipe. You're going to see Major League Baseball within the coming years maybe even get more popular than the NFL. Okay? Major League Baseball. Let's not sugarcoat this in this day and age of political correctness. Major League Baseball has talent from a wide range of, let's say, races. White, black, Hispanic, Asian, etc. The NBA, you can't consider, let's say, a white guy, but he's going to be from where? A weird country you never heard before, right? So how can kids relate to that? How? Tell me. So really, Major League Baseball has nothing to worry about. Trout, he's a white dude, right? He's, he's literally one of the best baseball players in the league, right? Let's not sugarcoat it. Where do you see that in the NBA? Where? Hmm? Nowhere. I'm not trying to sound racist. I'm far from racist. But I'm just speaking in terms that are realistic. Major League Baseball has a wide variety of talent that's broad. Okay? So... People that keep complaining about, wow, the NBA is going to overtake MLB. Look at all the coverage they're getting. Look at all the talk about the NBA. Where's the talk about Major League Baseball? Really, for the fourth consecutive year, you've had the same teams face each other in the finals. Let that sink in. By the way, I thought the NBA was excellent growing up in the 90s. The golden era of the NBA, literally, we had the golden era of wrestling, the golden era of rap. We had the golden era of practically everything. So the NBA, at one point, in my opinion, was bigger than Major League Baseball, even if the numbers didn't reflect it. Their product was excellent. The Knicks were actually good. The Knicks actually had a franchise that went out and made moves. Now they don't make nothing because their front office is pathetic. Dolan passing it to, along to his son has completely ruined that franchise and really has turned people off to the NBA, a big market like New York City. This is why I say the NBA and practically their owners have no idea what they're doing concerning their product. So I'm here. I was hearing the Michael K show. He's talking about the NBA, 
like this is what I'm talking about. Why are these radio shows talking about the Warriors and Cavaliers? <laughs> really, really, it's the fourth straight year. I know they have to talk about it, right? But realistically, do you want to hear about the Warriors and the Cavaliers? Wouldn't the Knicks versus, let's say, the Houston Rockets sound more interesting? Yeah, I'm pretty sure, right? So who the hell wants to hear about the Warriors and the Cavs? Sure, Stephen Curry and Thompson, etc. are great basketball players. LeBron James, you can make the argument that he's one of the greatest of all time, etc. Yeah, but after LeBron James, after he retires, after the gas really gets out of his system, no pun intended, where, the, where does the NBA go, really? Hmm? Does it go up? Does it go down? My opinion is going to go down. They're already doing it with LeBron James and all these superstars. Really, the fourth consecutive year. That sounds that's ridiculous, folks. They have all these superstars and they barely can make it work. That's the NBA. So you guys talking about oh the NBA is going to pass Major League Baseball? No, Major League Baseball is just going to grow. You have talent like Judge, Stanton, Trout, Arenado, Otani, all these races, all these backgrounds. Harper, etc. All these people. If you ask me, the Major League Baseball is going to expand. You're gonna you're gonna see all these weird countries playing baseball, just like uh, they're playing in the NBA. You're gonna hear about countries you never heard of. If you ask me, can we like pay off the commissioner like they used to do in the '80s with the Lakers, etc. With those lottery draft picks, etc. Let's just pay off the commissioner, have the Knicks be a legit team, and maybe. The NBA can actually grow because that's a big market in New York City, right? People keep saying, oh, you're from New York City. You guys always think you're privileged to have the best things. Really, New York City has the density, the metropolitan area to make anything popping, popping, popping. So that's just my opinion. The NBA is not going to surpass Major League Baseball. It's impossible, in my opinion. After LeBron James retires, or like I said, starts declining, I mean, there's not really another superstar that's going to replace LeBron. Like, let's say Kobe replaced Jordan, and LeBron replaced Kobe. So, if you have enjoyed my commentary, I know sometimes I sound overboard, harsh. Well, I'm just keeping it real, man. I'm just putting out my real opinions out there, and if people hate it, they hate it. <laughs> I'm not the type of person that goes out there and says, hey... I want you to like me. No, I go out there and say, hey, what I really feel. And that's what I really feel. I think Major League Baseball is on the come up yet again. They have a wide range of superstars, and you're going to see it grow big enough to surpass maybe the NFL one day. And the NBA is just going to stay where it's at. It's just my opinion. Like always, share, like, and subscribe. This has been Felix from NYNews.com. I will check you out.